Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross video. So we've got lots to talk about mainly because Dana has dumped all the first anniversary info into the game way before our the broadcast that's coming up on the 1st of August, uh, which is just another two days away. Um, yeah, they're going to talk about all the brand new content that's coming for the first anniversary of Uta Macross, which is just a few days away. And yeah, um, we are now currently faced with a bit of the new content because, well, they're prepping us for the major event that's going to happen in just a few days' time. So the first thing you'll notice is, oh look, I have a new background in the uh, the screen that you're currently staring at. And on the beach, it actually says anniversary here. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys the three different versions of this background. Uh, well, it changes accordingly to your time zone over there. So whenever you're um, going through like the morning period, the sunrise, the sunset, and of course currently like what I'm showing, I uh, have here in the background is um, broad daylight. So yeah, um, just like the Tokyo Sky 3 event, this background uh, are not exactly uh, permanent they are just for this time duration uh, and sadly to say if you did not accept it like uh, what I will show you guys here in this short clip video um, if you did not accept it properly and you cancelled it off uh, sadly there is no way for you to obtain this background anymore um, I don't think there is an options in the menu settings where you can actually retrieve it again uh, yeah so Please uh, do click on always the bright pink buttons in the Uta Macross games because those are usually the buttons that says yes, I accept. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's move on to the um, tab right here at the top corner where we'll talk about the first anniversary event tab and what are its contents. Okay guys, so here we have the brand new uh, Uta Micros first anniversary uh, Nyan Matsuri banner or rather the tabs. Um, they are all shortcut panels basically. So we're gonna go through each of them uh, and we're gonna see what they actually lead you to or what they actually do um, to help make your gaming easier during the first anniversary event period. So for the top left hand corner, um, if you tap it, it will straight away bring you to the current returning gacha uh, panel. And of course you can see right now, I am still currently on the first returning gacha. Uh, it's for the December version of the returning gacha. So if you guys want to pull it, um, please do so before the current time runs out at the top left hand, uh, top right hand corner. So yeah, do take note. the The returning gachas are fading very quickly as uh, it's gonna be spread out over a uh, pen of a few days up to the third of August. Um, and yeah, each day there is only one returning gacha. So like for now, we only got a few hours before this one disappears and another one replaces it. So if you guys are going to do pulls on them, please make sure to check what um, episode plates are available in those gachas and whether they are the ones that you really need to evolve your current on hand 5 star plates of that version. Um, I will not be doing any explanation on the returning gacha in this video. Uh, as there are just too many and uh, it requires too many videos to talk about so uh, I won't be doing any pulls for returning gachas as well because I'm going to be saving up my singing stones for upcoming first, uh, first anniversary or maybe even Karame swimsuit uh, well, gacha that is currently coming up so yes we do not have that current episode play available in any uh, since Uta Micros has started this is the first time Kanami will be getting her swimsuit uh, costume into the game so that gacha is actually within the banners of the returning um, gacha uh, set so which is very strange I'm not sure why um, the, uh, Dana or rather yeah has planned it this way but yes anyways guys let's get back to the tab um, we're gonna talk about the second one 
from the top which is this one all right so it is the tab that leads you to the event story every day a new banner uh, a new event story will uh, occur so make sure you tap onto this first anniversary um, tab it will activate the story if you missed out on it I'm so sorry um, you probably may not be able to see it again but of course um, that is actually if you can actually understand Japanese because well there is no um, translation for this game uh, or there are fans out there who have been translating the stories the SNS messages and all that uh, and you can actually ask them to give you a, a heads up um, whenever they do a translation for these um, special event messages or stories that occur within the game um, I'm not sure if the people who have translated the SNS messages are doing this current first anniversary story set um, because it is a lot a lot to translate if you think about it it's all the way until the 3rd of August so yeah that's a whole bunch of Japanese text to translate <laughs> alright guys so let's, let's move back to the menu here and of course the first thing you see is the first shaded option um, this actually is a power-up campaign which only begins uh, on the 31st of July which is just another two days away so it's a reward system um, that is linked to the upcoming event on the 31st of July uh, as you can see the bottom right here this event tab also is on the 31st of July which is linked to uh, Kaname's uh, bikini costume uh, which is for the upcoming event on the 31st of July so yes um, that banner is a brand new banner uh, probably it might stay longer than the rest of the returning gachas um, definitely because it is a new costume um, with a new episode plate involved uh, that is related or linked to the upcoming event so if you're not sure what that event is we have seen this banner before in the past uh, it's Natsuda, uh, Mizugira, uh, Furu. I can't read that kanji, so, and fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, so pardon me on my Japanese. Um, there are still some kanji words that I cannot read. Uh, and yeah, it's, 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 it's shameful, yes, I know. <laughs> uh, but I'm still learning, we are all learning. Uh, okay, guys. Um, so yeah, um, that's one of the other things that we can look forward to basically. Um, it's strange because we already know what song is coming up for the first anniversary. Um, yeah, and Kanami is going to perform that song uh, in her bikini. So yeah, I, I guess I guess maybe the second banner if they ever wish to have for that particular event, it could be Makina's or... Uh, no, Makina already has a bikini out. So uh, Reina has as well. Uh, I think next will be Mikumo. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's why uh, if you guys are following me on Facebook, um, you probably know that um, one of the fan artists has already drawn Kaname and Mikumo in their bikini, uh, Azu Delta Chan. So yeah, she she is rather excited for the coming event <laughs> all right so let's move on to the top uh, le uh, right hand corner tab um, this one will actually lead you to the special gacha um, which I'll talk about later so this particular gacha so we'll return to this tab later on so let's move off first and go back to the uh, anniversary tab okay Alright, so the bottom left hand corner is basically a tab that will lead you to the uh, singing stone shop. So as you can see, we, there is a whole bunch of singing stones here that are on discount at this moment. As long as you see this bubble here, these are the bundles that are on discount for first anniversary. And of course, the top one is the most important one if you want to pull the special gacha. So let's talk about it later on. Um, but let's talk about these three uh, gacha, uh, no, not gacha, uh, singing stone bundles that are pretty important. Yeah, so as you can see, they cost 1,600 yen, 4,500 4, yen, and of course the 9,300 yen, which is the same as the one all the way the last 
which usually gives you only a thousand seven hundred singing stones and one thousand seven hundred um uh, well basically the um spheres that you use in the chaos exchange um these spheres are only obtained if you actually purchase singing stones all right so as you can see let's compare the difference so the bundle for the 9800 uh, bundle comes with 2400 singing stones which is 700 more than what you normally get and of course your spheres you also get 700 more than what you normally get then here's the catch the other thing that they will give you is the nyan kuji tickets so this is actually the most important thing um, we'll talk about it later on uh, because well um, the Nyan Kuji tickets are essential for the first anniversary Nyan Kuji uh, tab that, or rather the exchange that's going to happen uh, which is basically on the next banner here so let's tap this okay so if you guys are familiar with the New Year's Kuji exchange uh, that uh, we, we did way back um, well, seven months ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Um, or if you're familiar with the Kuji events that uh, usually happen in the middle of the month, um, whenever we have to um, play songs to obtain the medals to exchange for items within like a Kuji draw. So yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Only difference is, well, this one only has one list. So this is the list of items that you can actually exchange them for, which is pretty awesome um, because they have all the rare um, items that you can usually feed your divas to improve their affections towards you. So that's pretty nice and of course there's the lucky stones available as well and the exclusive anniversary episode plate. Now, why is this episode plate so important? If we were to take a look at the past new year uh, exclusive episode plate that was uh, obtained through the Kuji draws. Well, you will see that that plate um, here, right, has the special notes attached to it, and it is a very very useful plate. And up to now, I'm actually still using it. So I highly recommend um, all players to try and obtain both copies of this episode plate within this first anniversary Kuji. Uh, that's gonna occur just a few days time so yeah it will start on the 3rd of august um basically two days away after the sp broadcast um yeah so very very crucial make sure you try and obtain them but there is a catch the tickets that you can actually obtain from the events and the missions are limited so in order in order for you to get more tickets what you're gonna have to do well Remember the singing stone bundles that actually give the tickets? Yeah, you're gonna have to purchase them. <laughs> so yes, uh, it's exactly the same thing as what I did in the New Year's uh, Kuji. I actually ended up buying a bundle, which uh, I'll highly recommend the most expensive one, which is the 9,800 yen bundle, um, because it will give you the most amount of tickets, which is uh, 160 tickets. Now. If we were to go back into the tab here for the shop, okay, if you count the entire set of bundles, well, this one gives 25 tickets, 75 tickets, 160 tickets, plus if you include the missions that are currently uh, going on um, later, which we'll explain, well, the amount of tickets in total you can obtain from buying all the bundles here yeah, all the bundles here, the three bundles available here, including the missions and under the Nyan Nyan service missions, um, you will obtain 320 tickets for the Nyan Kuji in total, not including the ones that are going to happen um, during the event for I think Kaname's um, bikini event. Yeah, so 320 tickets out of 500 items well, you are still short of 180 tickets. So if you want a full chance to obtain the both copies of the episode plate, you are definitely going to have to spend some money. 
unless unless your luck is exceptionally powerful on that day <laughs> and you are able to pull both copies of uh, episode plates with the most minimum amount of tickets then well good for you <laughs> uh, sadly to say on the new year's kuji i wasn't that lucky i ended up having to buy the most expensive bundle and then um, probably another cheaper one um, yeah just to obtain both copies of that particular episode plate uh, which is very very useful at night up to this point i have not regretted spending the amount of money because that plate has proven itself to be a uh, top contender episode plate um, even for its lack of secret box unlocked so yeah i highly recommend anybody out there uh, once again to try and obtain both copies of the episode plate available all right let's move on to the next tab which is this one which is the tab that links you straight away to the nyan nyan service missions okay we'll talk about this in a while let's go back and talk about um yeah the event that's coming um, sadly to say, no event info for that, <laughs> the upcoming event has been released, uh, sadly to say, so we are expecting a whole bunch of information under the SP broadcast that will happen on YouTube uh, on the 1st of August, so guys, make sure you catch it on YouTube if you are free that day, if not, well, the you can always join us on the Facebook group, I will link the Facebook link in the description down below. Uh, normally for us, the broadcast crew, if you are not familiar for uh, up to this point of time, uh, there are a few fans of the Macross community, um, myself included, um, that will actually record down such broadcasts um, whenever we are free and share it among the Macross community on that Facebook group itself. So if you happen to not be free to watch the live broadcast, um, live well you can actually watch the pre-recorded uh, rather the recording of that live uh, on the facebook group itself and then, yeah you won't miss out on any uh, important information that has been mentioned during that broadcast um, we do do broadcast recording for macross gatomara and i and macross modelers and of course sometimes whenever the voice actors on the macross community or rather macross world um, and they are doing any other additional works maybe uh, new animations opening song ending song or even voice acting for another character role in a different anime that you may love well if you want to follow these macross voice actresses actors uh, well there is the actor uh, fukuyama <laughs> and, and well they they tend to still be very active but doing other things as other than macross works uh, so if you want to follow them, we, we do release all this information on the Facebook group itself. So do join the community, uh, the link will be in the description down below. Alright guys, so let's talk about the service, Nyan Nyan service missions and uh, what you need to do to complete them. Okay guys, so I'm currently on the my new account. As you can see, the missions here are not really filled up. So I'm going to explain it here on my new account because uh, it is there's a difference um, when it comes to the Nyan Nyan service missions and then straight away you can see that okay these missions allow me to unlock Sharon Gnome's uh, costume for Lion and yeah what happens if I already have it? Now I'll have a screenshot here of my main account and its missions and straight away you can notice that there is no um, costume there rather instead of the costumes it is replaced with 30 pieces of the Kuji tickets that you need uh, so importantly um, to obtain that um, first anniversary uh, set of um, episode plates now with that said do take note if you do not have this costume um, already and you obtain the costume this way well you're gonna be short of 30 pieces of those tickets so i'm so sorry for new players but this is the advantage of veterinarian players or older players who have been playing the game for a long time you will lose out on 30 pieces of those tickets 
Alright, so let's explain what the missions are so you can actually clear them and have a peace of mind and play the events later on. Alright, so firstly, you can see that this on the top here, well, it is filled up because I had to test the, um, the mission itself and to see whether it's correct. So, what you need to do is basically you do this, you go onto the home page, alright, and tap your diva to add points to their affection level. So that's basically it. And then after that, your mission will be clear. Uh, Alright, so that's basically this. This is actually the, on the last mission. So we're going to go in order right now other than this one. Alright, so this one basically for the costume or the 30 pieces of tickets. Uh, what you have to do is just clear 10 of the Nyan Nyan service missions and that's it. You will obtain the costume or the 30 pieces of the tickets. Okay, from here on, we are in order. So you just need to listen carefully. Uh, as long as you see these four words which says Magma Kuros, basically you just have to play songs from that particular series. So yeah, um, Chojikyu Yosai Makuros, uh, you just play three songs, any three songs from that generation and you're done. So here's my hint to you guys, play them on the easy mode uh, where you spend the least amount of energy and clear the missions and then you can uh, have the rest of the energies for the day to do other things maybe like uh, improving your player rank or obtaining more rare items um, to unlock your episode plates alright then followed by that uh, is Macross 7, Macross Frontier and Macross Delta so exactly the same thing play 3 songs from any of these generations and then you're done alright from here on out basically they're all the same as well just that it is related to different divas. So we're gonna name them in order. Freya, Mikumo, Kaname, Makina, Reina, Ranka, Cheryl, Milin, uh, Basara, and of course Minmei. So what you have to do is basically have those specific divas as your center diva and then play any song and that's it. You're all done with the Nyan Nyan Service Melody missions and we can move on. So next thing we're going to talk about basically is the special gacha. Or rather, no, let's let, let's talk about Sharonu's costume first. Because basically, uh, if you are a new player and you don't have Sharonu's costume, definitely you want to figure out what can that costume do. So let's take a look at Sharonu's costume. Um, here we go. Okay, cause let's take a look at Cheryl's costume. I have her equipped with it already. So as you can see straight away, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl's costume for Lion's Default actually increases the unit's life by 10% up. Or rather your entire life uh, for that particular uh, song that you're gonna play. Um, whatever stat boost will help with life really isn't very important uh, mainly because if you can actually full combo the song you won't really take any damage at all um, but for example if you're facing mission challenges um, from certain events that require you to survive with a certain percentage of life at the end of this the song um, yeah costumes like this will actually come in handy and well this costume is only obtainable through events such as this um, the, the first time we actually obtained this costume was also from the new year event basically and it's obtained through the same way so if you have not obtained this costume before because you're a new player well now's the best chance for you to actually obtain the costume and if you are an old player well if you've already gotten the costume well good for you you've obtained 30 extra tickets for the Nian Kuji to obtain those two exclusive pieces of episode plate um, for this coming first anniversary Nian Kuji event Alright, so let's head over to the special gacha, which is what most of us are waiting for, I guess. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a look here. Okay, let me exit out this menu screen, and we're going to go into the gacha page. Okay, so straight away you see there are two banners. One of them is the returning gacha, which is this one, and of course the special gacha that has this very unique ticket 
icon here. So how do you actually pull from the special gacha that guarantees you a copy of a 5 star episode plate? Well, sadly to say you have to spend money. And of course, this is where this tab comes in. You can tap the normal tab here, the pink one here. Um, and it straight away brings you... Uh, hold on. If you tap this one here, then it will ask you that um, are you sure you want to use that one piece of that special ticket? Well, sadly to say right now I have zero pieces, so let's go obtain them. So tap the pink one here, or basically you can tap this. It will open up the Singing Stone store that only shows that bundle that comes with the ticket, which was the very first one at the top, if you recall. And to show you here, if I tap the normal Singing Stone shop, the first bundle is the one that comes with the ticket that you can see here in the icon. Yes, so 3,000 3, yen. Let's look at the bundle at the normal 3,000 yen. What do you get? So 3,000 yen, normally you get 500 singing stones and 500 spheres for the chaos exchange. So yeah, as you can see right here, we have 500 singing stones, but we are only lacking, we are only given 250 spheres for the chaos exchange and of course a guaranteed 5 star um, ticket for that gacha so we are we, we just lost 250 spheres just for the guaranteed 5 star plate which i think is a pretty decent exchange uh, if you think about it because well 250 spheres really can't get you much uh, under the um, chaos exchange. Let's take a look at the chaos exchange first and then would you uh, in this way you can actually see for yourself that that 250 spheres really isn't amount to much. So let's take a look. The, the important items here are of course definitely the lucky stones which well the smallest one requires 750 spheres for an exchange of one piece of it. So 250 really can't get you much unless you're looking at the resource materials for your episode plates unlocking um yeah 200 for the large ones one copy you know that's kind of sad so um yeah i wouldn't recommend being upset about the loss of 250 spheres especially if you're a person who has been purchasing singing stones regularly like i do um yeah, that 250 spheres is definitely a very good exchange for a guaranteed 5 star episode play. Alright, so with that said, um, I will show you guys here right now because I forgot to show you guys earlier when I was in the singing, store, uh, singing stone store. Um, here is the currency exchange for all of the bundles that you're going to buy if you are required to because of your terrible luck. Okay, so if you buy every single bundle, including the um, exclusive um, bundle for the special gacha right here. Alright, let's tap here. Okay, so 3,000 yen, 1,600 yen, uh, 4,500 yen, 9,800 yen. The entire thing will amount up to 18 thousand yen so i'm gonna show you the screenshot of the um, currency exchange that i did la last night um, this will show you guys how much you're gonna spend in your own country's currency uh, if you don't find your own country's currency there i'm so sorry because the screen is only that big <laughs> so you can go ahead and convert it yourself uh, eight thousand eighteen thousand uh, yen it is not a cheap price, definitely. In my country, that's amounting almost to 240 Sing dollars. Uh, yeah, so that is a hefty amount of money. Um, it is almost double the amount that I usually spend per month on Uta Macross. Yes, you just heard me right. Every month, uh, I literally spend about 100 plus dollars uh, just for gacha videos for you guys so <laughs> yeah hopefully you guys are uh, appreciative of whatever I do here because um, it is not a very financially um, beneficial feat to be done uh, especially since I'm not earning any revenue from my YouTube videos so guys uh, yeah 
<laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the episode plates in the gacha for this guaranteed gacha. Are the plates in this gacha useful and is it worth spending that amount of money pulling this gacha? So let's talk about Freya's. So looking at Freya's, most of the episode plates in this current gacha are above 3200 total score, which is fantastic. And these plates are definitely very useful, but how useful in general, that's another thing. So Freya focuses on charm. Its center skill basically is units charm will increase by 60% up. So Freya's plate is definitely a plate for high score purposes, um, but under the charm factor. So okay, active skill. Well, for 20 seconds, your damage will be reduced by half. Then life skill. At the beginning of the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score will be increased by 80% up. So as you can see straight away, Freya's episode plate is more of a life skill support and a center skill support in terms of high score. But the issue is the active skill doesn't really help boost high score. Um, so Freya in the end is more of a support uh, episode plate. So with that in mind, I think we definitely need more support plates but you know um, generally if you have enough support plates Freya's uh, episode plate is definitely something you do not need you know, but if you love repeated episode plates to boost your luck value well they, it's always nice to have extra luck in the banners so uh, okay next Makina no no not Makina Mikumo <laughs> Mikumo is uh, like I said, well, 3,300 definitely higher than Freya's. She focuses on charm as well, but not as high as Freya's. Uh, center skill as rank, units, voice, and charm increases by 45%. Up. Where am I circling? <laughs> My finger is off the screen. <laughs> Alright, so um, active skill. For 5 seconds, your score will be increased by 70% up. So Mikumo's plate is definitely meant for high score purposes. Much better than Freya's. Freya's is more of a support plate. But for let's look at uh, Mikumo's life skill support. At the beginning of the 5 second mark for 10 seconds, well, uh, you're, you will have an easier time pressing your combos. So Mikumo's plate overall trumps Freya's plate. So definitely Mikumo's plate is one to get. Um, it's definitely in the higher ranks of a must obtain. Uh, if you obtain Mikumo in this gacha, well, your luck is pretty awesome. Alright, moving on to the... Oh, sorry. Um, Mikumo's plate doesn't have any special notes as well. So, yeah. Um, let's move on to the next one, which is Kaname's. So this special gacha basically has a plate for every single diva in Macross. Um, that is currently in this game, um, so you are on the main four generations. Alright, so Kaname 3418, definitely higher than uh, Mikumo's, uh, also focuses on charm. Units charm will be increased by 60% up, so pretty much the same as Freya's. So this plate alone is looking better than Freya's already. <laughs> um, active skill, 12 second, um, your combos do not break. So very useful for challenges. Um, so sadly to say, Kaname's plate is not meant for high score, but more of a challenge um, factor. But she does have excellent stats. Um, life skill at the beginning of the 42 second mark for eight seconds. Well, you will have easier time pressing notes. Then for 12 seconds, your score will be increased by 50 percent up. So with that said. Kaname's plate has two useful skills under the life skills section. So Kaname's plate is definitely a plate for support. If <laughs> initially when I saw this plate, I was like, damn, that makes Freya look terrible. And yes, sadly to say it is true. Freya's plate is definitely the worst plate currently uh, after looking at the truly plates that we've just seen. So whoever has obtained Freya's plate. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> okay, Kaname's plate doesn't have any special notes. And let's move on to Makina's. Makina's, well, the stats are definitely lower than everybody else. Um, focusing on charm as well. 
love element plates on the unit uh, the total increased by 35% up so that's pretty decent um, okay active skill for 20 at the tw for 20 seconds well you have an easier time pressing notes then live skill 40 second combo mark 12 seconds your score will be increased by 50% up sadly to say Makina's plate is worse off than Freya's well because Makina's plate is more used for mission challenges and doesn't have any special notes so I am so sorry if you guys have obtained Makina's plate your, your luck is worse off than those who have obtained Freya's plate so I'll try not to condemn too much because <laughs> I have yet to pull uh, the gacha itself so who knows maybe the 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 bad mouthing of others might end up um, <laughs> being bad luck to myself as well so yeah karma anyway Reyna's plate Reyna's plate has very awesome stats 3499 um, well balanced in soul and charm all right so units total will be increased by 20% up so it's a decent center skill all right active skill at the 15 seconds mark for 15 seconds you will have an easier time pressing notes so life skill 55 seconds mark for 10 seconds your combos well do not break uh, and of course for 12 seconds your score will be boosted by 50% up so Reyna's plate is almost almost I would say almost equivalent level as uh, Kaname's but slightly lower so yeah so currently the top two plates that you wish to have is Mikumo and Kaname from this uh, episode uh, special gacha so no special notes attached to Reyna's sadly to say Okay, moving on, Rankas. Rankas plate is rather unique. So, cause normally Ranka is actually a support unit, but said, uh, strangely enough, this episode plate for her uh, Nijiro Kumakuma uh, is actually her one of the few center episode plates. So, total is three thousand two hundred sixty-five, which is awesome. Um, mainly focusing on soul and a bit more on voice. Units total, no, sorry, units soul and voice will be increased by 45% up. Very, very awesome center skill. Okay, active skill for 5 seconds, your score will be increased by 70% up. It is not the best active skill uh, because, well, we all know that now currently active skills uh, for scroll boostings there is 100% up. So, Rankas is slightly um, poor, uh, poor in terms of. Uh, yeah, the active skill factor, but it's still a center skill play. So, yeah. Life skill at the 55 second mark for 10 seconds, well, you have an easier time pressing notes. So, um, yeah. Um, it is still a awesome play to have as a center, especially if you're a Ranka fan. But sadly to say, it is not on par and on par of competitive level, uh, because Mikumo's plate definitely outshines Ranka's plate here. Um, but as a life skill support, I think it's pretty decent, especially um, if you need it for challenges and events and missions to clear. Yeah. So Ranka's plate has no special notes, sadly to say. Moving on, so we have Sharonome. So Sharonome is well known for being a center position um, diva. So this time around, they swap orders. So Sharon, uh, Ranka became center position, and then of course Sharonome now is a support unit. So three thousand three hundred nine, focusing more on soul, slightly more on charm. Units soul value will be increased by sixty percent up, which is very awesome. Um. An active skill, life recovery of 30%. Not the best recovery plate, but okay. Uh, since it's a life, life support plate, nobody will actually focus on this because you definitely won't use this episode plate, center position plate. At the 42 second mark, for 14 seconds, your score will be increased by 80%. Up. So Sharon's plate is of course useful in terms of support as well. So right now, um, Sharonon's plate and Ranka's plate are still higher than Freya's and Makina's 
uh, so that's pretty awesome. So if you've gotten these two plates, you can feel assured that you have definitely um, not wasted your money, I think. <laughs> and Milin, let's take a look at Milin. Okay, so Milin has 3,326 total, focusing on charm, slightly more on voice. Voice, yeah, units charm increases by 60% up, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Active skill for 20 seconds, your damage will be reduced by half, uh, which is also okay in terms for missions and all that. Life skill at the beginning of the 32 second mark, for 14 seconds your your score will be increased by 80% up. So melee is also a support plate um, with no special notes on the episode play. Um, so yeah, Milin is almost on the same level as well all the mediocre episode plates in this current draw, so which is um, basically um, Reyna, Ranka, Cheryl and Lee. So these are the decent plates. Then we have Basara. Alright, Basara 3213 focuses on soul and a bit of charm. Center skill units soul will be increased by 60% up. Active skill 10 second mark. Sorry, for 10 seconds, your score will be increased by 100% up. So, definitely, this plate is way better than Mikumo straight away. Uh, although Mikumo has a better total score, but the active skill alone, Basara overthrows Mikumo by a ton. So, <laughs> okay, life skill. Alright. Uh, your life when it reaches below 90%. Uh, huh. You. Okay, so for 14 seconds, your damage will reduce by half. Now, even though the life skill is an S rank, this skill um, is definitely something you don't really use often unless you're challenging a mission that requires you to. Um, survive with a certain amount of HP, then you will probably consider having this episode played quick as a life skill play. Uh, other than that, this play is more towards high score value. Um, so in terms of usefulness, this play covers everything pretty decently, uh, even as a life skill play. So right now, Basara's play is top contender above Mikumo, so number one is still Basara. Then followed by Mikumo, then of course um, Reina, Ranka, Cheryl, Eileen, and of course the worst two plates currently to obtain, Freya, followed by Makina. Alright, so one last diva. Uh, oops, forgot to show you, Basara has no special notes attached to the plate as well. So, okay, one last diva, Minmei, the all time favorite classic. Uh, Alright, 3286, um, pretty okay stats. So, and charm. Units total will be increased by 30% up. Active skill, 20 seconds. Well, basically you will have an easier time pressing notes. Life skill, at the beginning of the 40 second mark, for 12 seconds, your score will be increased by 50% up. So Lin Min Mei's plate is more of a support plate, at the same time a challenge center plate. Uh, so yeah. Min Mei, I would say, is on par with, um, I would say, Ranka, Reina, Cheryl, Mili. So, the best plate out of this whole special gacha is still Basara and Mikumo uh, if you don't have center episode plates. So, if you have enough center episode plates, basically you are looking towards pulling uh, Kaname, Reina, Ranka, Cheryl, and Lee. Alright, so with all that said, let's get down to pulling this gacha and ending this video because it is far too long and there's too much information in this video itself. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go purchase my bundle here, so I'll be right back just in a moment. Alright, guys, so I'm back finally after purchasing the bundle. Uh, and straight away, as you can see, this is uh, shaded grey. Uh, means you can't purchase it anymore because you only can purchase it once. And of course, this gacha is only allowing you to pull once. So this gacha will only let you pull one plate out of this whole selection of seven divas. 
Um, is it seven? Five? No, seven. More than seven. <laughs> um, let's see. Five Delta, two Frontier, two Seven. So nine, ten, ten Divas. So, <laughs> all right. So let's see who I'll get. Hopefully, it's either Basara or Mikumo because I definitely need a center episode plate. I up, up to this point of time of of playing Futa Makers for one year. I do not really have a fantastic high score performance center plate. So yeah, so let's do this. Uh, just hopefully I don't jinx myself from talking too much in the past few minutes uh, about who is actually better to get. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Definitely becomes rainbow, so it's just who's gonna pop up. Oh, I got Kaname! Okay, that's fine. Uh, she is generally a very overall useful plate, so I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty okay with this. And of course, with this shown, it means that I have enough points to unlock the costume for Kaname. So I guess I can do that as well. So this is a brand new piece for me, so I'm pretty happy. Alright, so let's dive down to maybe completing Kanami's costume. Let's see, recent plates. There you go. Okay. I wonder if I have enough materials to actually unlock the costume. So there we go, I'm short of quite a bit. Uh, let's go all the way to the end because I'd like to spend all my needed stuff first before um, I do any more powering up. Still not enough. Alright, here we go. Alright. So with this, I think I should be able to unlock the costume. There we go. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So here we go. What does Kanami's costume do? Well, star plates. Um, all all star plate stats will be increased by three percent up. So that's pretty fantastic. This costume is very very useful and it looks awesome as well. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that's pretty much all the info I have for you for all the stuff that's currently released. Um, pre first anniversary content, I guess. So. Hopefully everything has been useful for you guys even though you may probably have already known by now because well the info isn't exactly very new uh, considering that the amount of people sharing content on online uh, gets around pretty quickly. So yeah hopefully um, certain info on this video have helped clarify things for you guys or make things a bit more easier for you to understand well, what plates for, uh, you should actually try to look out for in the future if they ever return in certain banners you know that kind of thing now well, as always guys thank you guys so much for watching if you have watched all the way to this end of the video i know it's a very very long video i can't appreciate uh, i can't say thank you enough i appreciate all you guys uh, support in every way possible um, it helps motivate me to create more videos for you guys uh, in the future you know, that kind of thing so thank you guys so much again uh, if you like what you see in here do like the hit the like button and share the video to your friends uh, if they need the information and that kind of thing and i'll see you guys in the next utaro across video bye